Hello, this is the Wall 200 and I'm here with another Dragon Ball Super video and today's video is going to be my concerns where the hell the story's going in this arc. It's really fucking confusing to what's going on because those who do not know, who don't follow it, it turns out Zamasu is it really in Goku's body and that Goku is actually present day Zamasu, which doesn't fucking make any fucking sense whatsoever. Like, they totally fucked over the storyline right now. I'm not talking about anything else with the series. The episode itself, the current the current episode where he explains the Zero Morris plan was extremely badass. It was a fucking huge ass pull that Trunks should be this fucking powerful. Yeah, that was that was bullshit. Yeah, a lot of fans are pretty much fapping to it right now. I gotta admit, it was fucking awesome, but that doesn't mean it's a fucking ass pull. It's, an ass pull is an ass pull, you know? It, this happened in Naruto a lot, where they got power-ups and powers completely out of fucking nowhere, and people ignored how shit, how, you know, shit of the writing was, because how badass it is. It's the same with fucking Super. And with this whole time travel fucking thing, it's really fucking confusing. I don't see how it can be Zamasu in this present day. It's because it goes against grandfather's paradox. If you don't know what that is, it's where, let's say, if I go back in time and kill my grandfather, I would cease to exist because my father wouldn't be born, then I could not be born. But, if I do go back in time and kill my gr grandfather and cease to exist, then how did I go back in time to kill my grandfather? Because I shouldn't be alive <laughs> to go back in time to kill my grandfather. Therefore, it lies in the paradox. It kind of, it works the same thing with Zamasu here, because he shouldn't have the time ring to begin with, because he was killed before he got it. So, him saying he got the time ring that protects him from anything happened in the past is bullshit, because he didn't get the ring before he went to back in in time, I guess there's two different ring time rings now that he can jump between. Because there's uh, the timeline with Trunks and the timeline where he saves Goku. Therefore, there's two different time rings. And I guess he can go back and forth between these time periods somehow. Because there's two different hymns existing. It doesn't really make fucking any sense. To me, at least, there's a lot of people trying to explain it, and it's completely fucked right now. The story is out of control, and probably shouldn't be watched, because simply, but, you know, if you were looking for a story-fulfilled, like, arc, this is probably not for you. Like, the story is pretty, it's pretty fucked at this point. It is so fucked. It, you will, won't understand it. You probably will never get to understand it. Maybe he'll explain it way later down the line where it actually fucking makes sense. I don't know. That's my best guess. Since there are two time rings, he exists in both timelines somehow, regardless of any paradoxes that happen, which is kind of bullshit if you really think about it. But, I guess, this is something we have to deal with. Like, Go if you want to watch. I'm going ahead and watch it. See how it turns out. I'm not going to just completely quit because the story's going to fucking complete garbage. But this is my opinion. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that. I just don't like the way the story's going. It's, it completely just went fucking south with this. It's just I don't know where he's coming with this shit. And if you really think about it, it really fucking makes no sense. So if you really just Oh, you know, uh, it's whatever the story. Just enjoy it for its, you know, fights, or enjoy it for some of the back other backstories that you see. Then that's fine. But the marrying plot right now is fucking up in the air. I hopefully we get more detailed than what how Black explained it because. I don't see how, just because there's two time rings, that he can coexist between these time rings. Like, I just, that just blows my mind. It's best that you probably don't think about it too hard, but damn, it does, any logical sense that can be had from it is completely fucking lost, and it's 
it's really too bad because I really was looking forward to this story, and he could have done so much with the uh, you know black. He could have been Guasu, and that would have turned out great. I think that would have been a pretty good plot plot twist in my opinion. I don't know about anybody else, but it being current timeline, Zamasu really doesn't make sense. How does he get to Trunks timeline? Just cut because he can travel back in time to that Pacific time ring, even though the time ring can go only forward in time? That's been stated by Guasu that it can only go forward. So if he, how do he go back in time to Trunks' timeline? Because that time ring is this also? Because he split the timelines? I don't fucking know. It doesn't make any sense. Hopefully... You know, it, the plot actually gets some kind of sense to it right now because I'm really confused. And just because it's badass doesn't mean it's shit writing. I'm sorry, it's shit writing. Thank you for listening. Write, comment, and subscribe.